Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the news for this week for AQ. Let's get into it. All right, starting off, we got the weekly update for AQ Mobile, week number two. Alrighty, so uh, it goes through quite a bit of things, like how artists like Batman and uh, some other stuff, they <laughs> pause and read that, or click the link in the description if you want to read the whole post. I'm just going to do a quick recap for it. If you haven't seen it, it's about a day or two old at this point. Uh, text chat uh, creeping on the portrait, so that's a little bug. They had uh, bugs with the walk around blockers, the stuff that keeps you from going to the part of the map art that you're not supposed to be walking on. The shop server code got updated so it can load thousands of items with no noticeable slowdown. Before it was struggling with just the 100 items, so that got updated. They're still working on the NPC dialogue systems in the game. Read that if you like. So this part of the whole post has to go about uh, converting the background art from the line art that it is to bitmaps. Uh, it has to be bitmaps because apparently uh, your Vice GPU video cards have no idea what line art is. They only speak in raw pixels. Yeah, of course they do. But uh, they say that they have to strike a balance between resolution, which is file size, high resolution image, and uh, like actually having it look good, you know? So they, they got to pick one or the other. In my opinion, I think uh, most devices are going to be 1440p or higher moving forward. So having it a, a lower than that is going to uh, date it immediately. Like within two years of this being out, every device is going to be capable of, every new device is going to be capable of putting out higher than like a 1080p image. So I, I hope they start off with something like 1440p, maybe down the line when file size isn't so much of a concern as it is right now because as time goes on you know 50 years ago a megabyte was a lot of storage right now a megabyte not a lot of storage so when you think about it as time goes on it, they might be able to increase the uh, resolution of the background let's we'll wait and see that's just how I understood this uh, post read it for yourself of course and you might take away something else from it but uh, yeah that's what it and uh, thank you uh, the big three combat movement issues APOPs, database admin tools, NPC interaction, interface design. So those are what they're working on. Those are big three things. But uh, yeah, that's about the gist of the whole post. Not too much new information in there, but some interesting stuff nonetheless. All right, Durkin with new character for the new update that's coming out next week. Hopefully, yeah. Armor for that character as well from Exorose, looking good. Some house items to go along with the release, really cool, the, uh, the bushes and you know like armor stands, some guns, the turrets are really cool, yeah, nice stuff there. Oblivion Priest of Nalgath from Kotaro, good to see some Kotaro art this week, yeah, so cool looking outfit, love the uh, colors, the Oblivion Blade uh, daggers, which are interesting, I've never been too big of a fan of the shape of the Oblivion Blade, but the colors definitely very nice, ground rune as well. A bunch of house items that Alina posted on Twitter here. Yeah, just a whole heap of them. Legion Mechanical Ghoul from Furrow. Yeah, some nice looking art here. Reminds me of the Future War stuff that they did a while back. Uh, like five years ago. Yeah, a long time ago at this point. But uh, yeah, cool looking stuff. So there will be gold versions of the default classes coming to the rare gear shop. So rares and 100% uh, gold bullion version of the base classes are also coming as rare farmable versions so they'll be farmable and in a rare shop so cool not sure why we're getting new versions of base classes but uh you could recolor abyssal angel some new animations anyway um comfy customers are back comfy I just realized it says comfy. And anyway, uh, yeah, so some more casual outfits here from Steve. Really nice looking. Oh, yeah, I haven't mentioned this in any of the news videos because, I don't know, I've played too many, like, in-game events where it's just an event. I, I don't really get too excited for them anymore, but there's been a meteor going through the sky. Uh, it's been on different uh, maps in Battleon, and it's near the end of the Battleon map at this point. It's in other games, too, like AQ3D as well. So this might be some sort of event Arctic Entertainment's doing in the future at some point in both of their in AQ3D and AQ Worlds. So yeah, look out for that. If you haven't seen it yet, you've probably seen this on social media or whatever. But yeah, that's kind of a thing that's happening, but yeah, I don't look too into it. 
All right, next up, we got some art from Miri. This is some stuff that looks like it's based off the Krulong art, the stuff you can get in Battle on from the quest, if you're familiar with it. So it looks kind of, um, you know, inspired by that, but it's own thing, of course. Looking really nice. Yeah, I love the design here. Good stuff. Also a slimmer blade to go along with that set of weapons. So yeah, really cool. Arlette with a Stargazer girl set commission. Yeah, Arlette commissions looking better and better as time goes on. So yeah, art improving. Arlette's getting much better with the art. It's good to see. Nice sword there as well. Lance commissioned Thyronius for an armor set that looks like a variation of his armor of Lance armor set, you know, but in Thyronius's art style. Very cool sword with the pretty slick animation on there with a black fire behind it. Really nice. Also a little dragon pet. Yeah, cool uh, commission there. I have a feeling the April Fool's event for this year is going to be cardboard themed. <laughs> in some extent but uh yeah so the erroneous made a sneevel flying like a cardboard airplane type thing yeah really uh cute johan joined in with a paladin made out of cardboard with a cardboard blinding light of destiny you better look at it there yeah really nice and also a nolgath sword what's the name of this one is it just nolgath sword something like that yeah for uh made out of cardboard I imagine it's for the April Fool's event, that's what I was going to say. Not sure what this one's for, but J6 has a PS5 inspired helmet that uh, guaranteed in stock at unscalped prices. So yeah, pretty cool. Hopefully they green on their CC, that'd be cool. Right, I have no idea how to pronounce this uh, popular Portuguese uh, AQ YouTube channel's name, but yeah. This guy, he uh, commissioned Snowfers for an outfit. I think it looks really good, matches him uh, quite a bit. So yeah, really nice looking art there from Snowfers. Zay here, or is he? With a cool looking raven outfit? Yeah, really nice. Doesn't have a name or anything, but uh, it's a very cool concept. Crane X with the Infernal Doom Lord. Yeah, nice nice looking outfit with a cool sword. I had to include this from Tiny. I love these faces. <laughs> really nice. It'd be cool to see something like the uh, Smug One on a helmet more for something like that in the future. In a few weeks, the Necro Storm Lich set will be coming out. Yeah, so a few weeks from now, this will be out. And you can see it comes with a bunch more different items and helmets and stuff like that. Alina showed an art of a pet for Grenwog next month that was inspired by Like of Lore's stream. Right now in game, there's a brand new whole assortment of Lucky Day items in the shop. I'll quickly go through all of them. Yeah, so some rares, including the uh, the My Comp set that uh, was shown a while back, but is now in game, which is really neat that uh, that he got that uh, outfit in game really cool so yeah w works well with the theme of course got armors uh there's a bit of a cc to accessory on some of the armor as well which is really neat i'll actually show that right now armor for sure is this not that one accessory accessory so yeah so different colors look like yeah so that's really neat got the version without the shield that's what male looks like Actually, I like the uh, female one more than the male one for this one, which isn't normally the case with metal armor, but I actually think they did a good job with that one. And a gold version if you have membership and want that. The helmet, which also has a CC on it. Very cool. Rune cape, rare, color customizable. That's neat. You can see it there. And then animated one. That looks really nice. I'll probably pick that up. Also rare. Yeah, for sure, gonna pick that up. And that's all in the shop. So yeah, some Lucky Day items in the shop today. Really cool. Some new seasonal drops as well for Lucky Day. Yeah, uh, like these quite a bit. Like the little shamrock tattoo there. Yeah, really nice. Uh, so these are available. You read that on screen where to get them. There was a bow and a cape as well that are also available. Some Legion armors that are also available and the weapons to go along with them. Cool daggers. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in and big thanks to all the channel members for supporting the channel, making videos like these possible. Really appreciate each one of the members and thanks for all the support on the channel. Big thanks. And uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys all tomorrow when we check out the new event, which is the part two for the 10k chest and the Legion War. So we'll see what that's all about tomorrow.